Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. And can you give me a height, maybe? Uh, 10 meter. Okay, great. Now, uh, oh, a hiker. Maybe a hiker has a backpack and uh, is climbing up. Uh, so a hiker has a backpack and 
they're climbing up some sort of ramp of 10 meters. So, how much work with the, with the, let's see how much work the iron curve would need to do to climb up as to build those are huge Is it really 15 kilograms? Yeah. How can a backpack be 15 kilograms? Is it 1.15 kilograms? No. He's a very heavy backpack. He has a pretty heavy backpack. Okay. Let's just say he did, but he put so like how much the gravity? How much the gravi How much work gravity does on the backpack? Oh, how much work the hiker does on the backpack? How much and work the hiker does on the backpack? And That's how, what we're trying to do. And how much work gravity do it does on the backpack? Yeah. And then the That's what we got. So first, let's uh, do see what the hiker does on the backpack. Well, W is F D. We don't exactly know. Wait, no. I want one more thing. I want to say one more thing. Let's say the velocity is constant for this. Do we need an F B D or something? Uh, yeah. Let's make an F B D. So this is the hiker. And there are two forces. The hiker's force it is pulling up the backpack and gravity's force. But wait, gravity has two components, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. But we're not gonna use that. We we not gonna we are walking away from Newtonian. We are using what kind of the theorem? Uh, no, we're not using it for this problem. We're demonstrating the answer to the do that. This is real. So, since he walks up the ramp with a constant velocity, that means... Oh, can we plug in? Um, since we, he walks up the ramp with constant velocity, that means that the work done, uh, ha, ha, the work done here, WA, is equal to the work done here, WF. Because think about it. If you, are you, uh, if you are working with the same amount of force that's pulling you back, then uh, uh, you wouldn't be moving faster and faster. You'd be moving at a pretty slow but constant velocity. So, WA and WF are actually equal. So, uh, the network done is zero. But the individual work done by both of them is, so WF here is negative on because it's pulling back, helping her. So that's 
Sine theta d is supposed to be d sine theta. No, d cosine theta. No, that's for the x. Well, that's for the x because. But is the answer fifteen hundred joules? I believe so. <clears throat> Look at a uh, trick. I'm um, pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, there are two components of. This L that we don't talk about because we don't even know. This L is the cosine theta. And this H, we know it's 10, is the sine theta. So since we know that uh, H is d sine theta, we can uh, plug this in. Sine theta d is d sine theta for your information. So that gives you mg H. You're working together. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're working together. Yeah. I just think if the answer is similar, then I don't understand the question. So, FY is anyone. So, FH, what is FH? FH is the force on high cap. Force of high cap. Minus force on high cap minus M0. Force of high cap minus M0. So, so F is is uh -huh. M G one forty seven. So that's one forty seven. And okay. that's down over ten minutes. Uh, please wait for our students. Okay. So uh, they're trying to figure this out. Oh, I see. I see. So oh. they did it uh, basically it's equivalent way. Because yeah. so this is the same. Yeah. 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 We can. We can. Yeah, yeah. that's fine, Professor. Thank you. Okay. So uh, now uh, the, we know the W A. Minus my W. Yeah, I think it's same. Uh, yeah. W A plus W F equals zero. So W A minus 1500. I think the professor is doing the same way. W A yeah. is yeah. 1500 joules. Yeah, professor. That's right. Now, let's look at the scenario where oh, you so find this see. up. For them, this is theta. So yeah. they are cosine theta. Yeah. Yeah. For so us, theta, theta is that. Yeah. So professor, can you draw where the theta is? Where the theta is, professor. Where is the theta? Uh, I believe it should be here. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. No, uh, no, no. We're not moving on without you just yet. No, I mean, we just investigated. Uh, yes. Investigated it and uh, we yeah. found out you are correct. Some of would like to challenge our professor. So now we are going on to the ladder climbing scenario. But we're not done. No. Let's see if the ladder climbing scenario is the same. Trying to understand the solution to the do now, remember? Okay. So, the ladder climbing scenario, it would be the weight, uh, which is mg, times the height of the ladder, h. Uh, because uh, we are assuming the height of the ladder will bring you up to the top of the ramp. So, that gives you uh, everything else 15, 10, 10. That gives you 1,500 joules. No, oh, thank you. They're the same problem. <sighs> Are now, we going to find the network? Uh, the network, or the network we're recording this one, is uh, zero. Oh, network is zero. Because 1,500 minus 1,500. And because the work, the work done by... The work done by the hiker is the same as the work done by gravity. Oh, thank you, Professor. Okay, now we are going to move on to the exit. So 
there is the arc, and there is the moon. So, let the arc do positive, zero, or negative work. Oh, can you write the option B so the audience can see? That's like a vertical, right a vertical. So there are three choices? Yeah. Does it do positive, zero, or negative work? So what is the question? Does it the arc do positive, zero, or negative work on the moon? Oh, this is easy. Okay. By the law of conservation of energy, the earth and the moon are both yes. Now, if we actually combine both of the yeses, then this is what we get. Uh, what? Hey, what is this? Well, this is just a zero. Oh. Zero. It's still doing this. Zero. It's still doing this. Okay, what do you think, Alex? The gravitational force on the moon acts toward Earth. Is that right? Uh, Can you draw that? Hey, no. Does the Earth do positive and zero or negative work? The moon uh, is actually getting pulled by the Earth. The Earth doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't get pulled by the moon. The, the moon doesn't pull the Earth. The Earth pulls the moon. But what is the FBD? The FBD? Uh, work done by, work done by uh, the work done by gravity is zero. But uh, can you show us why uh, this is this is so? Uh, can you show the why the work done by gravity is zero? Hmm. I well, can I can show you. Okay. Okay. So this is the art. Is this the art? Yeah. And what else we have here? Moon. moon. This is the moon. Moon. Good power students here, so. Yeah. So this is the moon. Good to have here too. All right. So this is the velocity, right? Uh huh. This is the velocity. Oh, I, I remember. I, I really love the black out there. So it's only true that uh, it's only a uh, work is only done when the force and the velocity are exerted in the same direction. Uh huh. Here, <coughs> we have forces plus the point. Huh? Which way does Toward the force point? Huh? Which way does the Toward the center. Toward the center. Oh. To the center of the arc. That's right. Oh, so what is the equation for work? What is the equation for work F D, but it doesn't matter because B and F are not in the same direction. And they're perpendicular. So if the cosine theta would be so cosine would be ninety. Cosine ninety. So that's why it's zero. So F D cosine. Okay. Add the cosine and the uh, professor can you write this so I can take it up? Add the cosine and the yeah. Uh, yeah. So can you write it? Add the cosine and the I want to take a picture. Add the cosine. So that's equal to. equal to. So that sets everything for zero. All right. So work done by gravity zero. You can take a picture. Yeah. Wow. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Bye-bye. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.